It's the most devastating of all childhood cancers. But a glimmer of hope tonight, with Sydney researchers announcing a breakthrough in the fight against incurable brain cancer. The discovery is paving the way for a new trial in patients next year. The passing of time doesn't ease the grief for the Rogers family. Amity was a funny and caring six-year-old, her life cut short by an aggressive brain cancer. We're really missing that kind of glue. She was very good at um, seeing people's problems and rushing to help. When Amity was diagnosed with diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, or DIPG, doctors couldn't even give them hope. Um, there's nothing. It's uniformly fatal. You have nine to 12 months, maybe six months even, um, go and make memories. And it's very resistant to every form of chemotherapy that's been tried. It's, it's in the most critical part of the brain, so you can't operate on it. Amity's tumour was donated to researchers, her samples and those of others, enabling a promising new discovery in the lab. We think it's the most effective drug that's ever been tested in this tumour by anyone anywhere in the world in, in laboratory models. They've discovered a way to make an anti-cancer drug called DFMO more effective in attacking the tumour. There's this pathway that we've found is highly activated in these tumours called the polyamine pathway. That pathway enables a tumour to bypass the drug and grow, adding an experimental agent, AMXT1501, supercharges the treatment. And this combination was spectacularly effective. The drug combination was tested in mice. Its effects were potent, completely stopping the growth of these highly aggressive tumours. In the study, about two-thirds of mice survived. The results published in a prestigious journal. And we're working really hard now to take this as quickly as we can to the clinic. Patient trials are planned for next year. Amity's donation delivering real hope to others. It's amazing. It, that, that, that would be just amazing if little children could be spared what Amity suffered. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.